Good evening and welcome to the parish of All Saints, Harrow Weald. I'm Father John Barker, the Vicar of All Saints. We're a Church of England parish, part of the Diocese of London, within the, uh, the English Church. We are back in church for our Eucharistic work worship on Wednesdays and Sundays, uh, but we continue to have live stream worship as well. This evening I'm streaming from the vicarage, from the study, and we're going to say evening prayer from the Book of Common Prayer. Uh, some people refer to it as even song, but it will be said this evening, so very properly we describe it as evening prayer. The service will begin in a few minutes, uh, around 6pm UK time, and as we prepare for worship, uh, we will hear some music prepared by our director of music, Diane Teague. First, as we are gathered. And now, there is a Redeemer. Beautiful music uh, at the end of what is being a beautiful day here in uh, North London. A real spring day with sunshine, the birds are singing and the trees are some wonderful blossom. So let's, I invite you, I don't make you, I invite you to pause for a moment and let's worship together from the Book of Common Prayer, uh, Evening Prayer. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. 
Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Our evening psalm, Psalm 109, reading verses 1 to 6. Hold not thy tongue, O God of my praise, for the mouth of the ungodly, yea, the mouth of the deceitful, is opened upon me, and they have spoken against me with false tongues. They compassed me about also with words of hatred, and fought against me without a cause. For the love that I had unto them, lo, they take now my contrary part, but I give myself unto prayer. Thus they have rewarded me evil for good, and hatred for my good will. Set thou an ungodly man to be ruler over him, and let Satan stand at his right hand. When sentence is given upon him, let him be condemned, and let his prayer be turned into sin. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. A message there for us all. The psalmist was being wronged and in response he gave himself unto prayer. Are there trials and temptations? Is there trouble anywhere? You should never be discouraged. Take it to the Lord in prayer. The Magnificat My soul doth magnify the Lord and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Saviour. For he hath regarded the lowliness of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on them that fear him throughout all generations. He hath showed strength with his arm. He hath scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He hath put down the mighty from their seat, and hath exalted the humble and meek. He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he hath sent empty away. He, remembering his mercy, hath holpen his servant Israel, as he promised to our forefathers, Abraham, and his seed for ever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Bible reading this morning is taken from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 1 and reading from verse 57 to the end of the chapter. Now, Elizabeth's full time came that she should be delivered, and she brought forth a son. And her neighbours and her cousins heard how the Lord had showed great mercy upon her, and they rejoiced with her. And it came to pass that on the eighth day they came to circumcise the child, and they called him Zacharias, after the name of his father. And his mother answered and said, Not so, but he shall be called John. And they said unto her, there is none of thy kindred that is called by this name. And they made signs to his father how he would have him called. And he asked for a writing table and wrote, saying, His name is John. And they marvelled all. And his mouth was opened immediately, and his tongue loosed, and he spake, and praised God. And fear came on all that dwelt round about them. And all these sayings were noised abroad throughout all the hill country of Judea. And all they that heard them laid them up in their hearts, saying, What manner of child shall this be? And the hand of the Lord was with him. And his father Zacharias was filled with the Holy Ghost and prophesied, saying, Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people, and hath raised up an horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. As he spake by the mouth 
of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant, the oath which he sware to our father Abraham, that he would grant unto us that we being delivered out of the hand of our enemies might serve him without fear in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. And thou, child, shall be called the prophet of the highest, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation unto his people by the remission of their sins. Through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high hath visited us, to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the way of peace. And the child grew and waxed strong in spirit, and was in the deserts till the day of his showing unto Israel. <coughs> Here endeth the reading from the Holy Gospel. And quite a Holy Gospel reading also. They were going to call him Zacharias, named after his father, the father who had not spoken for many a long day. And the mother insisted, no, his name shall be John. And so they called for the opinion of the father and he called for a writing tablet and he contained, confirmed his name shall be John. John, meaning gift from God. And then his tongue was loosed. He spoke for the first time for an age. And when he spoke, he confirmed that indeed this son, John, was a promised gift from God as foretold by the prophets not not the Messiah, but rather the one who would prepare the way of the Lord. And we're told that the child grew and became strong in spirit, strong in faith. And he was in the desert until the day when he declared, Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Not, Zyra, not Zacharias. John, his name shall be John, gift from God. Amen. Lord, now let us thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And now I invite you to join with me. We can confirm our faith in Almighty God in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty, from thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, which art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the Queen and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, because there is none other that fighteth for us, but only thou, O God. O God, make clean our hearts within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. Our collect of this day. Almighty God, who has given thine only Son to be unto us both a sacrifice for sin and also an ensample of godly life. Give us grace that we may always most thankfully receive that his inestimable benefit and also daily endeavour ourselves to follow the blessed steps of his most holy life. Through the same Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Colic for Peace. O God, who art the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom standeth our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom, defend us, thy humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in thy defence, may not fear the power of any adversaries, through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Collect for Aid Against All Perils Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thy only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. Thank you for worshipping with us today, wherever you are. I wish you a very good rest of today. May it be safe, may it be peaceful, and may it be blessed by Almighty God. We will worship again, live stream tomorrow. We will meet at around 11.30 UK time to say prayer during the day. And as part of this service, we will have two special things. One is we will keep the feast of George, martyr and patron of England. And we will also say prayers for those with long-term health and other concerns from our parish list. We will remember them in our prayers. That will be at 11.30 tomorrow. Until then, I wish you to be safe, to be happy, and may God be with you. And so we close our worship this evening with another hymn played by Diane, our Director of Music, Rejoice, the Lord is King.